What's up guys, welcome to the DMX Show, I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install a true tablet UI on the Nexus 7 device. I did put out a question on Twitter asking you guys what you wanted me to cover, and a few of you did say tablet mode on the Nexus 7, uh, so that's what I'm going to bring you guys now. I am running the glazed Jelly Bean ROM, which includes a tablet UI in the settings, but it's not true tablet UI. So the only way that you can really get true tablet UI is to modify the DPI settings. Now, if you're a geek and a nerd, uh, you would be able to pull uh, your system files and you'd be able to modify the framework to make it work. Uh, but I'm not really a dork like that. I mean, I am a dork, obviously, um, because I flash ROMs, whatever, but I'm not so much of a dork that I'd be able to do something like that. Uh, so there is a flashable zip and that's when I'm going to show you guys how to install. Now, what this ROM comes with is kind of a tablet UI, but it's not totally a tablet UI. So it does include like your rotating screen, and it includes this. Uh, so if you want a true tablet UI, you'll have to flash the file that I am referring to, uh, which is this file that I just downloaded, uh, the CM10 Tablet UI Test. So this is only going to work on any AOSP ROM or anything that's based on CM10. Uh, so, should work on just about, well, pretty much any ROM out there. So, let's see here. Uh, if, I just want to show you guys what I did have uh, in this uh, glazed jelly bean ROM. So, if I went to system, let's see, that's where I had my tablet mode. But like I said, it doesn't include everything because you don't have your dual pane. One thing about the tablet UI is the way that it interacts with applications. So like your Gmail and all kinds of applications actually utilize uh, the tablet mode in different ways. Um, but if you don't have the tablet mode, then you're not going to get that extra functionality out of your tablet like you would on an Asus Transformer Prime uh, or a galaxy tab or whatever so we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery and we'll flash the zip and i'll show you guys the difference so we're going to reboot recovery hit ok and this does not require a system wipe so you're not going to have to wipe your data uh, you just can leave your applications and your data intact all you have to do here is flash i'm sorry you have to wipe cache and wipe down the cache and then flash the modification it's always a plus when you can keep your data. Uh, so we'll go ahead and should probably mention that you need to have an unlocked bootloader. You do need to be rooted and you need to have a custom recovery installed for this. So you get a wipe, just cache, swipe to wipe. Go back, just Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. Go back, and then now we're going to install our modification. So we'll go to install and we're looking for that CM10 uh, tablet UI swipe to flash. Now it should be noted that this is still in the testing phase so it's still pretty early in its development and there may be a few bugs uh, so we'll go ahead that was successful we'll go ahead and reboot the system and see what we got so we'll see what kind of difference that made now obviously you should probably go ahead and make a backup before you flash that so if you don't like the tablet UI you can always go back and if for some reason uh, you didn't make a backup, you could always just reinstall whatever ROM you're on uh, to get rid of the tablet UI if you don't like it. So just let this boot up real quick and then we will show you guys the difference in the tablet UI. Okay guys, so I did have a little bit of trouble installing that modification over the glazed Jelly Bean ROM, so what I had to do is I revert back to factory settings and installed the signage of mod 10 ROM. Now, this thing said that it, in the description of the modification, it did say that it was compatible with any CM10 based ROM. Uh, but for some reason, I ended up in a boot loop when I flashed my glazed jelly bean ROM. So I would have to suggest that you flash this only on like a signage of mod 10 uh, build. Now it said that the latest version of this mod was ca uh, compatible with uh, build 6 of the Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM. So that's a very much older build, but that is the one just for testing purposes that I went on ahead and installed. And it worked perfectly, so um, if you don't mind being on an older build. Um, also I did flash with Clockwork Mod Recovery this time instead of Team Win Recovery Project because they did suggest Clockwork Mod Recovery. So that could have been the only thing that held it back is that I installed with Twerp and not Clockwork Mod Recovery. So just keep those things in mind. Uh, but once it does finally install, or once you get it installed, uh, you will have your 
uh, it will be able to flip like a regular tablet and you will have your tablet mod in the bottom corner and now you'll have full tablet mode because any application that takes advantage of that tablet settings uh, you'll have you know your split screen like that so you'll have full tablet mode here uh, thanks to the modification guys you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx uh, if you like this video and other videos uh, like this be sure to subscribe to the channel right there if this video helped you in any way be sure to give it a big thumbs up guys thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one